here is the Lil Native all finished up. And where do I begin with this build? I guess we can start with the scales. As you guys can see, the liners are right here, and the micarta scales are separate from them. So originally, I glued these, or I epoxied these onto the brass, and as I was using the table grinder, I guess there was enough heat produced in the brass to actually make the glue weaker, or the epoxy weaker, and it caused it to fall off, and I, I was a little upset and I'll be honest, I, I kind of just threw it to the side because I just realized I might have to restart and do, redo everything. But luckily that wasn't the case because I was able to save it. So as you guys can see right here, these are the brass liners. I have to refinish these since they're a little bit rough. But since they were unstuck from the heat, I basically just created full liners for the micarta scales to sit on. Everything still functions, everything is still beautifully, how can I put it? Everything lines up nicely and there's nothing out of whack, so everything works great, which I'm very, very happy with. I was about to scrap these, but luckily I didn't. However, I do need to find some better epoxy here in the future if I'm gonna be doing something similar. So the issue was resolved, thank God for that. And really quick, I did put a satin finish all over this knife, since the customer is a fan of satin finishes. So I put that on the brass liners. Let's take a look at the scales. This is natural canvas micarta, and I'm really happy with how it turned out since I contoured the scales, exposing these really cool layers and different shades of the brown from the micarta. I even put a finger groove to have just a little bit more comfort when accessing the spidey hole in the blade. So really happy with that. Of course, I put my logo. Can't forget to do that. I'm doing that from now on on my new builds. Then I created some pivot collars out of the same material. So when I glued the micarta to the brass, what happened was, again, the heat that caused this to come off also caused these to come off, but I ended up using better glue. And I redid everything. There was a lot of heat going on while I was shaping it, and it didn't disconnect. So I know the new glue that I used for the collars works really, really good. So beveled these inside and out, gave a nice 400 satin finish, 400 grit satin finish, sorry. So we're really happy with the pivot collars. I also did satin finish on all the hardware, since this is the biggest one in the pivot, the pivot screw. You can see there's a satin finish. Again, just makes it dance a little more in the light, which that satin finish brings everything together. I also did the custom pocket clip. Now these are always a bit of a challenge, going from underneath and tapping the holes. So that's exactly what I did here. It's always, always scary. I, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but when you are shaping over the hole, you don't want to remove too much because then you expose the hole and then there goes all that hard work. So I was very patient. I took my time. I even marked where these holes were lined up on the top. And I always kept my eyes back and forth focused on where that location is to not go through, which would be very, very unfortunate, but very happy with it. Again, a nice satin finish on the pocket clip. Now, keep in mind... I normally don't assemble and touch all these parts without gloves on, but for video purposes and pictures, after I am done doing this video, I'm actually going to be disassembling and refinishing all the components on this blade for the customer since I am giving this to the customer or delivering it to them at Blade Show West. So I want it to be perfect when it gets there and I really just want him to be able to start that tarnish on all the brass and you know how it goes with brass so basically that is it now let's see what this thing looks like all put together
So here it is all assembled. And I am very, very happy with how this thing turned out. And I'm trying to be extra careful not to drop this. Put a lot of time into this thing and really, really pleased with it. Got quite a, this thing is a fingerprint magnet since everything is a satin finish, but that thing a little wipe can't take care of. I actually refinished these because I, I added some little scratches while I was working on it, but easily got rid of those. And then let's check out the pocket clip side. And I just love how the hardware is hidden. I just really, really like that look. Give you guys a close look at the pivot collars. Again, with that satin finish, almost a Iron Man-esque chest piece there. I was debating on going thinner, but I think I think a bigger, chunkier pivot collar was, was the right way to go, just to give it more attention and complement not only the, the brass liners, but also the brass pocket clip. And then you do have that satin finished hardware. Gives it that extra touch, or that extra custom touch, if you will. And the action on this, I made sure, I really made sure for the action to function and be smooth and just work the way it should. Now, I believe the customer uses this knife. As you can see, there's a couple scratches on the blade. There's nothing I can really do about that. I asked if he wanted to do a stone wash, but he just really likes the satin finish. Gave it a fresh, aggressive edge, so this thing is super sharp. And I even also added a little sharpening choil, just to make life easier when sharpening this. Another thing I made sure is for the ergos to be really good, and made sure that that pocket clip isn't going to be bothersome, which I, I think I accomplished, at least for my hand size. So. Hopefully the customer's hand fits there just as good as mine. And the tension on this pocket clip is really, really good. I know what you guys are thinking. Why would you use brass as a pocket clip where tension isn't good? Surprisingly, they work really well as long as you're not getting crazy with the knife. I'm talking like thick pant pockets, uh, just being aggressive with this knife. It does, it does serve its purpose. And as long as you're careful and gentle with it, it won't lose that retention. And even if it does, you can always bend it back just like a metal clip. But it, it does work beautifully as a pocket clip, in my opinion. I think brass is, is okay to use. Once I get better tools, I'm definitely going to use titanium. Here are the liners, nice and flush. Everything just goes together smoothly and just has a very cohesive look to it. And as always, you guys, let me know down below what you guys think of how this thing turned out. I always appreciate you guys' input. Another thing I wanted to mention was that the backspacer on the inside, I believe these, a water jet is used to cut all these parts out. And it just had a rough, rough cut finish. And it was just really bugging me. So I even added a satin finish on the back end on the inside of the backspacer just to have, just to have a nicer look. And when the blade is closed, the tip is going, it's basically exposed right here. So I wanted this exposed area of the backspacer to have a really nice satin finish just to make it nicer on the eyes. And again, make it more of a custom knife and just give it that, that extra oomph. And one thing I really do like about the little native, uh, let's see if I can get this on camera, but it is spidey flickable. So you can see right there, the action is really smooth on these, even though it has a, a lock back mechanism and then the the blade is actually writing on washers so the fact that you can spidey flick this thing is just a really really nice plus and it just means spiderco knows what they're doing so i couldn't be happier with this i hope the customer is happy with it and we'll see what he thinks since i will be bringing this to him at blade show and i will definitely get footage if he's okay with it and we'll see his thoughts on it and one more thing I wanted to mention with the pocket clip, since I did bevel the edges on the micarta scales just ever so slightly, I had to do a beveled edge on the pocket clip so that way it doesn't have a flat floating piece just over the scale, which I don't think it looks good. But as you can see there, I did bevel it slightly so it just fits up nicely and it has just a better look to it. Now again, I will be refinishing all these parts before I go to Blade Show. 
so it will be even in even more perfect condition. But there is the Spyderco Little Native in brass and micarta touches. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.